Hey y'all, I'm Mandy and this is Mandy in the Making. Today I've got some more biscuit dough recipes for you. So I know a lot of you came over to my channel because of one of my previous biscuit dough videos. So I hope that you are watching this one and find even more inspiration. Lately I've been able to find biscuit dough, canned biscuit dough more readily available. There for a while, it was hard to find, but lately I've been able to find it. So I thought, why not share four more recipes with you? Let's get started. We're gonna go back in time. I made one this morning before I had on makeup. You'll see that in the taste test, but it is a blueberry breakfast bake and it is so easy and so yummy. Not too sweet. We'll tell you all about it when we eat it, but let's go watch me make it. We're gonna preheat our oven to 350 degrees and we are going to grease our baking dish with some nonstick spray. I'm gonna be using my KitchenAid mixer. Are you proud of me? I remembered. <laughs> I need eight ounces of softened cream cheese, a half a cup of powdered sugar, and a fourth a cup of milk. And we're just gonna whisk this. So, I'm pretty sure that means I don't use this, I use this. While our cream cheese mixture is whisking, I'm going to cut up this entire thing of 16.3 ounce canned biscuits. Okay, I think this is as smooth as it's gonna get. It just says whisk until smooth. It's still a little lumpy, but I let it whisk for quite a while. I think that's, I think that's good enough. Now we're gonna go in with our biscuit pieces. I cut mine into eight pieces each. It's really up to you how you wanna do it. It doesn't say, I just figured the smaller the better. So now we're just gonna coat the biscuits in this mixture. Okay, I've got my baking dish here. This is, do y'all see my nails? I peeled one off, I need to fix it. Anyway, <laughs> this is pretty much a two quart. It's not a nine by 13. I know it kind of is shaped like one, but it's not. So let's just add all of our biscuits here into an even layer. And lastly, I've got about two cups of blueberries here and a tablespoon of sugar. We're just gonna toss these blueberries in the sugar. Now let's put this on top of our mixture. Okay, this is going in the oven at 350 for 30 to 35 minutes, just until it's kind of golden brown and all of our dough is baked through. closely. It's morning time. I haven't done my makeup yet, but I'm going to give this a shot. That is so creamy and good and it is not overly sweet. I was a little worried that it was going to be too sweet, but it really is not. I mean, we didn't add that much sugar. We added a half a cup of powdered sugar and then just a little bit of sugar to our blueberries. That cream cheese mixed in with those biscuits. Now I will tell you, I did bake mine for about 35 or 36 minutes. Just kind of keep an eye on it. The middle takes a little bit longer to get done, obviously, but oh my goodness, this is really good. This would be great for if you're hosting a brunch, this would be good for Mother's Day coming up. It would be good with coffee. We have a little bit of coffee left in the pot over there, so I think I'm gonna go grab some. So I went in there and asked Stephen if he wanted a bite. He ate the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> I love the, the buttery flavor of the biscuit. Number one, that's coming through. But then there's that sweet tart flavor of the, the blueberry mixed in there. It's really good. Very good. Not too sweet. Just the right amount of sweetness. The texture of it too. You know, you're going to get the uh, kind of a, a softer texture in the middle where the, I guess the cream cheese mm -hmm. kind of melts down in there and mm -hmm. softens the texture. And then on the outer portion of it, you have more of a crispy texture crunchy, of the yeah. crunchy, crispy texture of yep. the, uh, that's of a good biscuit. description. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, I'm not a big fan of like super sweet desserts and stuff. Right. This is definitely a, a dessert that I'm going to go back for more. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not necessarily a dessert. It's more of a brunch kind of, Gotcha. Thing. Yeah. yeah. 
but he drank some coffee with it and he really liked the coffee along with it. So yeah, he's getting some more. I'm going to get some more because I thought I was giving him a bite, but I gave him the rest of my plate. So this one is a winner. Y'all should try it. Good morning. Yes, it's morning again. We're going to be making another breakfast type recipe. The last two recipes that I'll be sharing with you are more of a dinner type recipe. But this morning I am making air fryer donuts and this should take no time at all. I'm going to be using a can of flaky layers biscuits. So you want to get the flaky kind if you can. Okay, for this recipe, it says that you're going to need a donut hole cutter. I don't have one of those. So I just looked around. I have this little beaker. Um, it's what I use to take my collagen each day. So I feel like that's the perfect size to cut out a donut hole. So that's what we're going to try. We're going to attempt to do. Let's do it. Okay, so I've got my eight biscuits here. I spread them out. Just got some wax paper. You can use parchment paper. We're gonna take our little beaker here or our donut hole cutter and we're going to hopefully cut a hole. These might not be the prettiest ever because we're of course going to cook the donut holes at the end as well, but it just doesn't have a sharp edge to cut it with. I mean, I say that's a win. I'm gonna be a little more aggressive this next time. Let's see. I don't wanna break my beaker because it is glass. Just twist it around and see if that helps. Oh yeah, that was much better. I say much better. It did cut through one in one spot. So I'm just gonna continue that for all of the donuts. And while I'm doing this, I'm gonna go ahead and preheat my air fryer to 360 degrees. I'm getting much better at this. Okay, our air fryer is ready. I've already sprayed it with some nonstick spray. We're gonna put four of these in at a time. You don't want them touching. Okay, and these are going in at 360 for three minutes. Meanwhile, I've got about four tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna melt that. Y'all, I had my doubts. This is three minutes. It's perfection. Let me take these out and put them over here on this parchment paper. Okay, now I'm just gonna take some of this melted butter and just brush it over top. And then on top of that, we're just gonna add some cinnamon sugar. I'm using Mr. Sticks cinnamon sugar, but you can make your own cinnamon sugar if you want to. Okay, I'm just gonna repeat this and I'm gonna put our next four into the air fryer. Okay, our second batch just came out and now we're gonna put our donut holes in. They are only gonna cook for two minutes and at the one minute mark, we're gonna flip them over. So these are a little more, you've just gotta stand right by your air fryer. So at 360 for two minutes, flipping in the middle. Our donut holes are done. I'm just gonna kind of drizzle butter all over these and sprinkle them with the cinnamon sugar. And then it's gonna be time to take our little taste test. Steven has already had one and he said it was really good. He said it was good and buttery, had that good cinnamon flavor. I'm very skeptical that this is like a donut because it's a biscuit though. Let's see. It's very similar to a donut. It's a little bit heavier, obviously, because it's biscuit dough. But I mean, that butter and the cinnamon sugar on top definitely give it more of that donut feel. I'm pretty impressed. Okay, y'all, before we jump into our last two biscuit dough recipes, I did want to thank Nick's Play for sponsoring today's video, and I cannot tell you how excited I am about this. When they reached out and told me that they wanted to send me a digital photo frame, I was hesitant, I'm gonna be honest, because in my mind, I still think of digital photo frames like 15 years ago, where they were kind of cumbersome and hard to manage and you had to put in an SD card or you had to connect it to your computer and it was just this whole thing and they just really weren't worth it in my opinion. Enter NYX Play. I have the NYX touch screen and I really love it. I didn't expect to love it as much as I do. It is super customizable and I had it set up and playing our pictures 
within five minutes of me opening the box. You can email pictures or you can use the app, which is what I use. I have an Android phone, so the app is good for Apple or Google Play Store. And I'll show you how to use the app in just a second. But within just a few minutes, I had uploaded all of my pictures that I wanted to play on there and they were playing here in the kitchen. I love that every time I come into the kitchen, I'm glancing over there and I'm just seeing all of these old memories. You can choose which playlist is playing on your frame. You can also add photos really easily by just cl clicking that plus button down at the bottom. You can take a picture or you can just upload from your camera roll. And then you can manage your frame down there at the bottom. Click the settings up at the top right. There's lots of different settings that you can choose. How long each thing shows on the screen. You can have a sleep schedule set up. You can have an activity sensor set up. When the frame goes to sleep, it can just be black. It can just turn off the screen or it can show a clock. There's lots of different options here and it's so simple to use. So a great idea right now is to buy one of these for a Mother's or Father's Day gift. This would be perfect, especially if you have a mom or dad that has multiple children, grandchildren, because what you can do is gift them the frame and then you can give permissions to all the children, grandchildren. They can all download the app and they can each upload pictures and it uploads instantly. You can create different playlists. It also has a sleep timer, so you can set that up so it'll automatically go to sleep at night and turn back on the next morning. It is connected to Wi-Fi, but it is safe for your kids. You can't access any type of browser or anything on the actual frame. And all the data is private and stored on encrypted servers located in the US. I love that you can manage the frame from the frame itself because it is touch screen, or you can manage it from your app. I have mine set up in portrait, but you can also set it up in landscape if you prefer, and it's also mountable to the wall. I mentioned that you can upload your pictures through the app, but it also has integration with Google Photos, Dropbox, Instagram, Facebook, that is supported through the Nixplay website. So you can go on your computer or you can do it from the app. So let's say that you upload a picture and you don't have the frame, it's for your mom. And you upload a new picture and she really wants to print that picture. Well, she can print that photo straight from the Nixplay app with Fujifilm's quality print service. So I highly recommend checking this out. Like I mentioned, this would be the perfect gift for Mother's Day or Father's Day. Check out the link in my description box. You can use my code and it's gonna get you $10 off. And that's $10 off any existing promotions as well. So if there's already a promotion on the website, you can still use my code and get an additional $10 off of your frame. And thank you so much again to Nixplay for sponsoring today's video. We really love this frame. It's a reason to kind of hang out in the kitchen and just stop and stare. We can't stop looking at it. And I love that I can pull all of these old photos that we have and load it on there. So it's like a trip down memory lane all the time. So now let's jump into our third biscuit dough recipe. This one I'm making for lunch today. This is turkey cheeseburger cups. Very simple and I'm hoping very tasty. Let's try it. Okay, to get started, I'm gonna preheat my oven to 400 degrees. I've also got this skillet heating up to about medium high heat. I've got one pound of ground turkey. We're gonna go ahead and put that in the skillet. This is starting to brown. We are gonna be adding some flavorings to it, but I do wanna go ahead and just season it just a little bit. You can season it with salt and pepper and garlic powder, or you can use this. This is my favorite, Auntie No Nos Everything Seasoning. While it continues to brown, I'm gonna add in a small diced onion. It's my Shelly. See, I'm telling you, as I'm over here cooking, I love just sitting here watching this. Right now, I've only got about 10 of them on there. Just, I didn't want to put all my pictures on there for everybody to see, but usually I have over 100 pictures that is cycling through. I love it. Okay, now you can either use ketchup or you can use your favorite marinara sauce. I'm gonna go with this because we already had it open in the fridge. But you need about a half a cup. We need a tablespoon of mustard and a teaspoon of the dub sauce. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna turn the heat off and let's go over to our biscuits. So I've got eight biscuits here. I'm going to roll these out to two to three times their size. These are gonna go into a muffin tin. So you want them to be able to go up the sides of the muffin tin. There we go. So there's one and let's do that for the rest of them. So I have sprayed eight of these muffin cups and we're just gonna go in with each biscuit and line each one. Perfect. Great.
Tracy wasn't in here earlier, but she's in here now and she is very aware that there's cheese up here on the counter. It's right there. We will give baby girl some cheese here in just a second. So I've got these lined. We're going to start putting our turkey mixture in. I did just taste the turkey mixture and it does need a little more salt. And just because we like some heat, I'm gonna add Auntie Nono's firecracker sea salt. Now we're ready. <laughs> Steven has entered the room and he is eyeing the food. Mm. Are you excited? <laughs> I am. Interest is peaked. Interest is peaked. All right. Oh, you got cheese too? Yeah. <laughs> so these are full. I've got just a little bit of the mixture left over. So I'm going to kind of overstuff a couple of them. Overstuff. I mean, why not, right? There's just a tad bit left. I'll just eat that while these are in the oven. Now I'm just going to top it with some shredded cheddar cheese. You can put on as much or as little as you want, or you can leave it off entirely if you want to. Okay, and that's it. This is going in a 400 degree oven for 12 to 14 minutes. Steven's face when he came in the room and saw these. <laughs> he got so excited. I'm ready. All right, let's go eat. <laughs> yes. He brought in some hot sauce. You gonna try it without and then put it on there? Yes. Okay. All right. This looks too good. It's hot. Mmm. Good. Love the spices and the turkey. Yeah? Yes, that is really good. The seasonings in the turkey is yeah. exceptional. That cheese on top. Mm-hmm. And then the biscuit. Oh man. That's really, really, really good. Cole, are you a fan? He is a fan. I feel like you could do like a lot of things with this too. Like if you wanted to add stuff in it, you could. You yeah, could you absolutely. could get creative with this. Yeah, one, you know? yeah. This is mm. very forgiving. You just kinda of do whatever you want. You could use ground beef instead of turkey, oh, yeah. whatever you want, but. Wow. All right, you're gonna throw some blues on there. Get my blues. Woo! It's my Ric Flair sauce. Your Ric Flair sauce. Over the top. Okay, so y'all gotta try these. I think your family's gonna love them. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all, it's time for our fourth recipe. This one is kind of a throwback to a few weeks ago on one of my winter dinners, my Friday videos, I made a homemade stromboli using not homemade pizza dough, but pizza dough that you can buy at the deli section at your grocery store. Many of you told me to use either canned pizza dough. You told me lots of different tips and I appreciate those tips. And then I saw this recipe and it made me giggle and I said, you know what, we need to make this. So these are not strombolis, they are calzones. They are gonna be mini calzones using biscuit dough. So rolling these out should be a whole lot easier than rolling that stromboli dough out the other week. That was a mess. It gave y'all a good laugh, it made me laugh, and I learned some things in the process because y'all are always so helpful in the comments. But let's make some mini calzones. We are gonna be having these for lunch today. I'm gonna preheat my oven to 400. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just take a rolling pin and spread out my each biscuit to about a quarter of an inch thick. And then we're gonna to top it with some Monterey Jack cheese and some mini pepperoni. And I'm just gonna fold it over and seal each one with a fork, seal the edges with a fork. And then finally, when I'm done with all of them, we're gonna brush an egg wash over all of, all of them. Okay, these may not be the prettiest things ever, but I think they're gonna work. Now I'm gonna take my egg wash and brush the tops. Finally, before these go in the oven, I'm gonna cut three small slits in the top of each calzone. These are going in the oven at 400 degrees for 16 to 18 minutes. You want them to be pretty dark, golden brown, and crispy. We're 
We're gonna top these with a little Parmesan cheese and a little fresh parsley. That's it. We're gonna serve it with some marinara sauce. I did warm this up in the microwave. So we'll dip it in here, but it's time to eat. <laughs> it looked like a hot pocket. That's what he said. Oh, we're having hot pockets. <laughs> Careful. What is that? <laughs> it's just cheese and pepperoni, honey. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, it doesn't taste like a hot pocket. Okay. It tastes like a mini calzone. Okay. So, yeah, really good. I mean, obviously simple ingredients, biscuit, pepperoni, cheese, Parmesan on top, marinara sauce, all the stuff that good little makes match. it like a little mini pizza. Yeah. Awesome. Cole, do you like it? Yes, very. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna dig in. I have a feeling these are kind of like the crescent roll dough ones that I do, Cole. Is it similar to that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I like that it has the egg wash on top to make it even crispier on top. But mm -hmm. all right, that's our last one. That's gonna do it for this edition of What Can I Make with Biscuit Dough. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll give at least one of the four recipes a try. Also, I wanted to thank Nick's Play again for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to check out the link in the description box below and use my code for an additional $10 off your frame. If you haven't done so already, I would love for you to join my YouTube family. Hit that red subscribe button before you go. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see y'all next time. Bye. Today, we're gonna go. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. Okay, I can do this. One got away. Where did it go? Yeah. Oh, there it is. Okay. Does that warrant a fast clap? That warrants a fast clap. All right. <laughs> if you've been around for a while, you've seen him do that. I cannot do that. Let me know. Can you do the fast clap? I need to know. I've never met somebody else who could do it. I see Mandy try to do it. Though. No, we, they've already seen me try to do it. <laughs> Like your daddy. Oh goodness. What is that? Mmm. <laughs> Stop mm. taking bites, yes. Tell us what you think. <laughs> <laughs>